All right, and we have finished our walking tour of McKinley West, and we are now at the Mega World showroom at McKinley Hill. I'm very pleased to be joined with our favorite go-to agent at Mega World. This is Miss Thea Ricalde. Great to see you again, Miss Thea. Nice to see you again, Sergi. And just finishing the tour, I'll say it's perfect timing to mm -hmm. speak to Miss Thea so we can get more updates about McKinley West. To get started, first, I want to say that Jenny and myself did a walking tour a few months back, and we noticed this very exclusive village. So yeah. that was McKinley West. And when we were walking by, we noticed the security guards were kind of staring at us because we were like filming. And I thought it's like, oh, okay, it's like very private. Mm -hmm. And I didn't give it too much thought, but lately I actually started doing research. Yeah. And I found out it's one of the most exclusive and expensive villages in all of the NCR. And I was looking at prices just on the secondary market. Mm -hmm. And units there easily go for 100 million pesos and beyond. Yes. So again, this is for like a house and lot, so not a condo. But nevertheless, I'll say I was kind of blown away by mm -hmm. just how expensive, you know, a house and lot is at McKinley West Village. Yes, sir, because um, McKinley West Village is located inside our ultra high end township, which is the McKinley West. And just to share with you, uh, McKinley West, we started selling that at around 50,000 per square meters. Wow. And now the lot owners are selling it at around 300,000 per square meters. That's actually so surreal to yeah. hear. Um, but the reason I think there's significance mm -hmm. there is, um, you know, just from our walking tours and condo tours, we've noticed a lot of viewers are very interested mm -hmm. in the McKinley West area and particularly in a new project like Park McKinley West, which is uh, Miss Thea's bread and butter. <laughs> and, you know, it's just kind of in many ways draws parallels to, I thought, like my first experience when I was shopping for a unit in Uptown BGC. Yeah. So one thing that went through my mind is I noticed like, okay, there's this amazing centerpiece here, and that's mm. the Grand Hyatt Hotel. Yes, sir. So, you know, I noticed like so many like VIPs there, you know, they host like private events. Mm. There's like all these like, you know, limousines pulling up. So yeah, that's true. it adds a lot of like value and status to the area. Mm -hmm. So I thought like, well, since I'll never be able to afford anything there, why not buy something next door? Yeah, that's right. True, sir. You know, it's like trying to surround yourself with, you know, the, the best like property that you can. So, you know, again, the first time we walked around McKinley West, I had no idea about this village, mm -hmm. but now I'm actually learning. And uh, Jenny and I have been doing more research. We found out like McKinley West Village is actually one of the top, um, you know, villages in, in all of the NCR. Yes, that's so. true, sir. McKinley West, we are neighboring Manila Polo Club and then Forbes Park. Yes, and for those of you who don't know, um, that's probably the most expensive and exclusive membership yeah. club in like all of the Philippines. I think it's like somewhere starting price of like 40 million pesos. Yeah, for the membership. Yeah, so, you know, that's almost close to a million dollars USD. Mm -hmm. So you can say it's like, you know, for the top 1% or 0.1%. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's, that's all nearby McKinley West. And that's why it's such an amazing strategic location to be a part of. Yeah, that's true, sir. So imagine the lifestyle um, that you are going to live in when you are in Park McKinley West. Yep. And with all that said, we're very excited to bring you guys the latest updates at Park McKinley West. Since it's been a few months since we lasted our walking tour, we just finished, um, you know, seeing the area mm -hmm. again, and we're kind of blown away by all the progress. Yeah, so it's very fast, right? It's <laughs> extremely fast. And I think like the most mature building there, I guess that's uh, Tower A. Yeah, so the early turnover we have is Tower A and Tower B. So for Tower A, they are tar targeting it to turn over end of the quarter this year. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, so it's actually going to be ready before... Yeah. Next year, wow, next it, year. it's almost like blink and it's here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did notice like the balconies look mostly complete. Yes, sir. And it's definitely already topped off. And mm -hmm. even um, Tower B is pretty far along. What's the uh, status on that one? For Tower B, sir, they are targeting it to turn over next year. Is that? Uh, Most probably first quarter. First quarter, okay, yeah. so it's pretty much right behind it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And also, sir, we just visited uh, our mock-up unit in Tower A. Mm -hmm. So, um, 
as, as what we have seen, it's almost ready. And then we are excited also. That's why we're here. We will be showing you the upgraded deliverables okay. in Park Makinliwe. I can't wait for that. That's the nice yeah. little surprise we have for you guys. Mm -hmm. But before we get there, as uh, to finish off the status updates, mm -hmm. what's uh, the latest on Tower C and D? Mm -hmm. And what inventory is still available for prospective buyers? Okay, for Towers A and B, sir, we still have one to three bedroom units available. And the good thing about uh, Towers A and B, even though you will be having early turnover, we are still offering flexible payment terms. So actually, we are still offering uh, no down payment, and our lightest down payment is around uh, 10%. Okay. That will be split into three to six months. And then for Tower C and D, we have few units left for Tower D, like two and three bedrooms. Actually, for three bedrooms, like I think we have one because we just sold the other three bedroom. Wow. <laughs> yeah, from our client here in BGC Dreams. <laughs> okay, shout out to the viewer watching. Thank you for the purchase. Um, you really made our day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, and with the status update out of the way, when Jenny and I were doing our walking tour, Ms. Day, we actually had a few questions we wanted to ask you and see okay, if sir. you know. Uh, so on Lawton Avenue side, we were actually trying to peek through the fencing to <laughs> kind of just get a, you know, more glimpse yeah. into what's going on inside. Yeah. One thing we noticed is there's actually stairs that mm. are now like fully formed. Yeah. So we were pondering like, is this the front entrance for the residence tower mm -hmm. or is it for something like the shopping mall? Uh, okay, sir. So for the residential entrance, that will be inside Makindi West. So that is along the Grand Avenue. And then for the mall entrance, that will be along Lawton Avenue. So for the residents to have privacy and security. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think that makes more sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's for like drop-offs. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so there you guys go. I hope that was helpful for you. Um, definitely something we were curious about when we were walking. Uh, another question we have, speaking of the shopping mall, mm -hmm. is are there any updates on the ETA? Because I'm sure all the residents, not only at Park McKinley West, mm -hmm. but nearby, yeah. you know, such as St. Marie's yes. and uh, Albany, Albany. Uh, they're probably keen to see this uh, yeah, shopping mall. Yeah, they're looking mall. forward for the opening of the mall. Yes. So right now, sir, most probably the mall will open maybe next year. But surely the, the residential towers A and B will be the first one to be turned over. Okay. Do you think it's more likely that the residential towers will be done before the shopping mall? Yes, or would sir. they kind of coincide? The I same know. Time? The residential will be, will be the first one to be done. Okay. So anyone watching and you're eagerly awaiting for the mall and the towers to open? Um, yeah, by next year, hopefully, yeah, hopefully all that will year. come to fruition. Mm -hmm. So with that said, um, another thing that we haven't showcased yet, but we're really excited to show you, is the location of the new Senate building. Yes, Because sir. as Ms. Thea mentioned, that's one of, um, you know, it, it's a big draw to the area, not only McKinley West, mm -hmm. but the entire Fort Bonifacio. Yeah. It's just another, like, validation that this area is very safe, very secure, mm -hmm. and, you know, you have very high-end clients moving in, yeah. and you have the Senate. And there's also, like, the Supreme Court, yes, right? Sir. That's being relocated. Mm -hmm. Uh, correct me if I'm mistaken, but these were originally located in Manila? Yes, sir, in Manila. Okay, so now it, it'll be in, Here in Fort, Fort Bonifacio. Bonifacio. Okay, so we'll try to give you guys footage of that. Mm -hmm. One other thing, when we were walking and um, just touring around, we noticed there's a small parcel that's undeveloped, and mm -hmm. it's sandwiched in between um, Albany uh, and St. Moritz. Yes, and these sir. are other mega world residential mm -hmm. towers. We wanted to know, Ms. Day, if you knew like what development is going on there. That will be another uh, future development of Mega World. But right now, they did not disclose what will be uh, that in the future. Okay. But, but most, uh, but surely that will be a Mega World. And you can confirm that it's owned by Mega World. Yeah, it's okay. by Mega World. All right. So um, we have nothing further to add or show you guys today, but just stay tuned for future vlog episodes. <laughs> and once we know, I'm sure it'll be very exciting. Yes. We'll be sure to uh, share the details with you all. And lastly, Ms. Thea, I'm sure you get asked this a lot, and I'm sure I bug you a lot about it as well, is we all know that the Metro Manila subway mm -hmm. is coming to McKinley West and McKinley Hill area. Yes, sir. The station is called Lawton East. Yeah. Do we at this time, Ms. Thea, know the actual location mm -hmm. of the subway? 
right now, sir, they did not disclose it. But the um, current update that we have is for the location near Uptown Arts. Okay, so I guess for the uh, BGC stop, we know, mm -hmm. but not the Lawton East Station. Yeah. That's still up in the air. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, if anyone has any insights, please <laughs> feel free to leave it in the comments below because we're very keen to update you guys um, as soon as we know. Mm -hmm. And with all that said, Ms. Thea, are you ready to go check out the new location of the Senate building? Yeah, so let's go, sir. All right, stay tuned. All right, as promised, we are now here at the new location of the Senate building. Yes. So this is uh, Navy Village, Fort Bonifacio. I'll have to say my first impression is it's actually much more grand than I was expecting. Yes, sir. I just read there's uh, going to be like four buildings and they're all going to be interconnected. Mm -hmm. They actually have a sign right there. The total budget is, believe it or not, 8 billion pesos. And the estimate completion of the Senate it will be around 2025, sir. And it looks like they're moving full steam ahead. You can see they've already reached the 11th floor. Yes. And the glass window panes have already gone up. Mm -hmm. So I remember when we first started talking about the new Senate building, Mistea, yeah. it seemed like it was still like conceptual. Mm -hmm. But I mean, progress has been very rapid. So the new Senate building is just 10 minute away drive from Park McKinley West. And this is also part of the Bonifacio Capital District, where Park McKinley West and McKinley West is part of this development which is by the BCDA basis conversion and development authority. So what's the significance of the new Senate building being relocated here? Well I think right off the bat it means this entire area is going to be redeveloped and revitalized and as we mentioned it's very close to Fort Bonifacio. So it just seems like the area on the whole is branching out more and more so you know again the budget here is like a whopping 8 billion pesos definitely nothing like small so this is very large grand scale and this is four buildings here interconnected so they're definitely going to build around it it should be something pretty spectacular in the coming years all right i hope you guys enjoyed the update thanks for joining us and we'll see you back at the mega world showroom